Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Glossuta Original Senator Perpetual Calendar. You can see and you can purchase this automatic winding rose gold perpetual calendar on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally, complete pricing details for this Glossuta Original Senator perpetual and rose gold. Now the watch is stunning. 42 millimeters across the round in the ca of the case, not including the crown. 42 is big for a formal watch, and this watch sort of straddles the fence between formality and sports. With 5 ATM water resistance, it's not quite as vulnerable as a conventional 2 to 3, but I wouldn't go swimming with it. At 42, it's bigger than most dress watches, but it's not oversized by any means. This is an interesting watch that Despite the formality of the Roman numerals, the black dial, the rose gold, and the alligator leather, wants to let its hair down a little bit. In style and substance, this is a versatile watch. Now, you can see the watch 42 millimeters across the round of the case is matched by a reasonably svelte profile. 13.6 millimeters, despite the complexity of the calendar and the automatic winding system, the watch slides easily underneath a dress cuff. The lugs across the wrist are reasonably constrained. 48.6 millimeters means you can wear this on a smaller wrist. My wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference to give scale. I believe on a wrist as small as 14 and a half to 15 centimeters, you're still going to be able to wear this watch. And there's a good reason for that. You can see just how short those lugs are. Dramatically downturned. They drape themselves around the wrist, so even if they're borderline to stick out over the edge of your wrist, they're going to look like they're melting away at the sides rather than flaring out. You'll also note the small cutaway within the case on both sides, and you can just see the recess on the case flank that allows Glossuta Original to draw the strap in very close to the case without getting it constrained or pinned against the case flank. So it easily folds down, straight down, around a smaller wrist. Score one for ergonomics. Now, the watch features a substantial and high-grade rectangular scale semi-gloss black alligator leather strap with a monotone stitch and a folded edge. The clasp is substantial. It's a massive assembly. It has a lot of weight in its own right. And you'll note with the twin trigger system, very secure. You must must depress both triggers to open it so it can't simply pop open. And once you do have it open, you're impressed by just how much apparatus and gold was invested in making this piece. It doesn't feel like a generic parts bin clasp, which I'm sorry to say, is all too common throughout Switzerland, but over in Glossuta, this is a unique, interesting, and confidence-inspiring piece. It's exactly what you want retaining a heavy and expensive watch against your wrist. And it's important to note that with as much mass as it has, it acts as effectively a keel or a counterweight to the watch. If you like to wear your watch loose, having a massive clasp on the bottom will prevent it from moving around and trying to hula hoop on your wrist. Now I've already sung the praises of the lugs themselves, but let's talk about the case lines. Simple, but there are some nuances. There's a slight bevel along the polished lug. Because of the polish of the tops and the flanks, the bevel's almost lost, but it is there, lending a little bit of character to the lug. So you can see the case band is a junction formed by the case back and the bezel assembly against the center case. But there's also a sharp double step to the bezel that gives the watch a hard-edged definition when you're looking at it from the profile or head-on. Now, the dial does dominate the watch, and all in matte black with white on black print, it should dominate. It's an easy watch to read, though not a sports watch and thus not luminescent. In lit conditions, you can easily discern the time. Stylized in very traditional Roman numerals, you can see there's a railroad seconds and minutes track outboard. Pear style hour hand, assegai or spear style minutes hand with a Glossuta original logo counterweight for the needle style seconds. Moon phase, day, month, double digit date, and there's the additional refinement. You can see there's an extra pusher corrector for zero reset centering of the seconds hand. So though this watch can track full leap year cycle, and I should mention that the leap year cycle indicator is sort of hidden just below the minutes hand. It's a dot at 12 o'clock. Though it can track full leap year cycles, nevertheless, the watch can be set to the second thanks to the zero reset refinement. The dial is matte black, so it's not going to prove terribly reflective, and it acts as a, as a, a sink for light 
absorbing the light and creating a greater contrast to the full polish of the red gold case, which, though prominent, is not strident or overwhelming. It's a nicely designed watch and well-balanced. And the same goes for the movement itself. Now, this is Glossuta Originals Manufacture Caliber 1002. It has a 55 to 60 hour power reserve courtesy of twin mainspring barrels. That's far more than the industry standard of 38 to 42 hours of power reserve, but the significance of having that achieved with two spring barrels is that it offers a more even torque release over the duration of the power reserve. 59 joules, beautiful stripes across the bridges. We'll get to why those aren't Geneva waves in a second. The movement features a gorgeous polished Swanseneck fine adjustment index for precise regulation. Again, automatic winding with a 55 to 60 hour power reserve and a perpetual calendar. It is quite a deluxe appointment for a watch that, you know, frankly, is all about charting large spans of time. You get very large sweeps, days, months, of course, m entire moon cycles. And on the case back, everything happens very quickly. The winding mass, the movement of the balance itself, and of course the spinning of the double-grained, double-spiral reduction wheel. Now the stripes, I call them stripes because they are Glossuta stripes, we're not in Switzerland, we're certainly not in a francophone region, so we're going to call them what they are, and the stripes are complemented by a skeletonized logo winding mass. Of course the watch does feature polished screws, all of them effectively black polished, so they only reflect light in one direction. You can see why it's called black polish as I move the watch through the light, you can see the the similarly polished swan's neck suddenly going black and then reflecting when I hold it at just the right angle. Beautifully made, thoughtfully appointed, luxuriously detailed, and again, somewhere between a sports watch and a dress watch. You can see this versatile Glossuta original Senator Perpetual Calendar and purchase it on our website.